photos from the South Carolina Highway Patrol from their 2015 investigation into Stephen Smith's death. The 19 year old was found dead on a rural country road. SLED is investigating his death, adding extra agents to help with the case. Our Tara Jabor gives us an inside look on what investigators saw. Take a look at this photos from July 8th, 2015 on Sandy Run Road. You can see crime tape of the area where Stephen was found and a red box in the road where his body was found. The fact that Stephen's body is apparently placed in the middle of the roadway and there's no debris of any kind present. The area remote cornfields on one side and trees on the other. Oh, the same day it happened, I was already out there walking the roads and walking through the fields, trespassing on a lot of people's property, just looking, went through cornfields. And this is the black Nike t-shirt he was found wearing in his shoes. Sandy Smith, Stephen's mother, and investigators say Stephen's shoes were loosely on his feet. Stephen, I don't remember how his shoes were actually laced on, but they were very loose. And he had them on, which is not possible. Um, yeah, he wore his shoestrings in the shoe. When you he entirely yeah. tucked them in his shoe. Any, any type of force like that with an accident, you're going to lose your shoes. I don't care how tight you got them on. Stevens' yellow Chevy was found here on Bamberg Highway, three miles away from where he was found. His wallet was inside. His motor vehicle uh, was about three miles away on Bamberg Road uh, with the gas cap removed. And while it would appear that his car broke down and he had walked for help, he never called from, for help from the cell phone that was found on his body. This is Stephen's phone. And attorneys say it's in SLED's possession and has been unlocked. And it's just one of the several pieces of evidence in this investigation. In 2015, Stephen was a student at Orangeburg Tech, hoping to one day become a nurse. Some of his anatomy books were found inside of his car. His mother, Sandy, hopeful about what is to come in this investigation that went cold for so many years. This, this is the piece that's going to you know, maybe bring justice for Stephen? It's a step in the right direction.